Hey everybody, this is Rachel. I'm going to do another spirit art drawing today and it's going to be a little bit different from my last spirit art drawing because today I'm going to keep the drawing part a time lapse rather than um, a regular video. The way I shot the video last time it was not a time lapse and I tried to explain what I was getting uh, during the video but it's hard for me to explain what I get during the video because it it's a little random and then um, sometimes the information I get it's too left-brained and I'm trying to like interpret it before it's done so um, I just wanted to let you know I'm gonna do a drawing here it's gonna be based on an individual who will see this drawing in the past in the future I mean I am going to uh, be reading an actual person so if you see this video and you're like, I know who she's talking about, I know that this message is for me, just uh, please let me know and it's going to be a time lapse. Okay, here we go. Okay everybody, here's the drawing here. And as you can see, I picked up someone's dog. And I had no idea I was gonna pick up a dog. It's really funny because I have this dog shirt on. And also I do believe this dog probably is still with us, this dog's alive. And the reason I say this is because I picked up a horse the other day in one of my spirit drawings. And I totally assumed that this horse had passed on because most spirit drawings for me are mediumship and whoever I'm drawing is past. No, the horse was totally alive and the horse did a lot of healing work and um, is very, a very, very psychic animal. And I could tell, you could tell in the drawing because it had a lot of energy coming in and out of like near its ears. So here we have another animal and there's a lot of energy right here. And I believe this is that represents psychic energy. So this dog just happens to be very psychic and is still with us. Also, this is a golden retriever and if it's not a golden retriever, then it's a dog that looks a lot like a golden retriever with a very light colored coat. Also, this dog really likes the color orange. It likes the color orange so much that I almost colored the ocean orange and the sun. So I decided not to make the sun orange. The um, just outside of the sun is a little bit orange as you can see. <clears throat> and then uh, initially this, oh I got some, some marks on it. Okay so initially the ocean was going to be orange with just some blue like around it like to hint that it was an ocean but then I decided no the ocean's gonna be blue because that's just the color of the ocean and I needed to um, cut up the composition with color so that has to be orange also this is a beach at first I thought this was gonna be um, green like grass but this dog obviously loves the beach uh, she likes to frolic around on the beach um, so I decided it's not going to be green grass. It's going to be the sa a sandy beach. I do believe this dog is female. And I do think that her name starts with an S. Now, in my mediumship work, names are not my strong point right now. Um, spirit drawings. Spirit drawings are my strong point. So uh, I was getting the name Sally. But the S name or Sally... That sort of information needs to be taken with a grain of salt. It's just something that came up and then that doesn't necessarily have to be the name of the dog. It could be something like that, but not necessarily those exact things. Also, I first envisioned a, a red truck that was a lot smaller than this as far as the car. 
And the reason I went with a larger car that was um, a, um, like a topless car is because when I knew I had to draw this big dog, I was like, how is it going to fit in a teeny tiny little truck? But the truck was red and um, this car is red, so I figured it fits. It fits enough. So maybe this dog really preferred red trucks rather than red convertibles. Um, there's a tree here. The dog, like I said, she really likes the beach quite a bit. She also slobbers, as you can tell. I also tried, I did try to get her eyes. I just got the sunglasses and then I got the rainbow coming out of the sunglasses. So she must be a very psychic dog. She must love orange and she's very slobbery. And if this isn't her neighborhood, then this is the place where she wants to be, which is on the beach. So, yep, I had no idea. I've never drawn a dog before. So this will be the first. And if you have any questions about um, this particular spirit drawing, please write your questions down in the comments below. Like and subscribe and have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.